had a good loyal patron supporter that wanted to know how would AMS handle a fucking baby mama. All right, and I don't plan on this shit ever happen ho happening. Hopefully, but you never know. So, <clears throat> but I damn sure don't plan on it. But you know, sometimes my sperm bust through condoms, come out looking just like me, goddamn. But anyway, guys, this is gonna boil down to let me. It's a lot of layers I gotta pull back on this shit. All right, first of all, let's talk about who has the power in the breakup. Whoever has the power is the one that broke up, that caused the breakup, guys. All right, if you broke up with the woman. You have the power. If she broke up with you, she has the power. And I'm not talking about a fucking breakup where the woman was whooping your ass for a goddamn year and you finally got the hint and you left. All right? I ain't talking about that. She broke up with your ass a long fucking time ago. All right? You just you just finally getting the fucking memo. She been broke up with your ass. You just finally catching up with your ass. Come on, catch up with me, brother. All right? She been broke up with your ass. I'm not talking about that shit. I'm talking about when a woman... First started, you know, doing some bullshit, whatever the reason is, some bull, some disrespectful, disrespectful bullshit, or you know, whatever. Maybe the bitch wasn't doing what she supposed to do around the house. I don't fucking know, but whatever the reason is, you a high value male, and you decided, you know what, I'm out this motherfucker. All right, in that aspect, you have the power. Now, if a woman breaks up with you, all right, if a woman breaks up with you, you typically Typically, it's not going to have a vindictive woman unless she broke up with you for doing some bullshit. Like you cheated on her or you was abusive or some bullshit like that. All right. If she just fell out of love with you, let's just say you lost your masculine frame or maybe the romance wasn't there and she just broke up with you because the love was gone. All right. In that aspect, you not typically going to see, typically gonna see a, a vindictive woman. All right, because guys, do y'all guys understand that been, to be vindictive, that means that to some degree, I have to have some hatred towards you. All right, so a woman who fell out of love with you is not going to have the type of hatred in her to be vindictive, which means that she's going to try to make your life a living hell. That hatred takes energy, guys. When a woman don't care about you, she's not going to have that energy to try, to try to make your life a living fucking hell. Do y'all guys understand that? So, unless now, unless she broke up with you because you did some shit, all right? If she caught you sleeping with her best friend, the bitch might be vindictive, all right? But I'm just going to take this from the aspect that you broke up with her, all right? You ended the relationship, okay? And for a woman to be vindictive means that she still has love for you, but she knows she can't get you back. And you have a woman that you're, that's a ex, a ex girlfriend that you broke up with. And she won't be vindictive because she thinks she can get you back. So she'll take it the other route. And this is when you have the baby mama fucking you on the side and shit like that. Because for whatever reason, maybe you lost attraction to her and you moved on. But she still thinks it's a good chance. If that's the scenario, guys, you always can fuck your baby mama. Because she's going to be constantly chasing your validation. All right, guys? If that's the scenario, if she feels like she can get you back, she'll go about it that route. The vindictive bitches, the reason they're being vindictive like that is because they know they can't get you back. So they only recourse is to make your life a living fucking hell. All right, guys? So, I'm going to take it from that because I think that's what he was saying. He probably got a vindictive baby mama. And so, from that point of view, the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take the fucking power out of her fucking hand and I'm going to tell her to put me on fucking child support. The only guys who are afraid of child support are fucking bombs who can't keep fucking jobs. All right? They the only way. When you don't, if you got a woman that's vindictive towards you and she don't got you on child support... She basically has a lot of control over you. All right? She can wake up tomorrow and, oh, he needs some new shoes. He needs some new clothes. See, when you on child support, I have a budget. I know, boom, I need to come up with $500 a month, and that's what it is. I don't got her hitting me up on a Wednesday talking about she needs $300 for child care. 
And then the following week, she need $250 because she need to go to the fucking dentist. All this bullshit, all these fucking pop up out the blue cost and shit. So I'm going to take the power out of fucking hand and I'm going to have her. Hey, you put me on child support. I don't even want to deal with you. Now, would I do this with a woman that's not acting vindictive? Of course not, because she's not going to carry on like this. She's not going to be mean and spiteful like this. So if you got a woman that's cooperating that you broke up and she's been she's chasing your fucking validation. She's probably barely going to ask you for anything. And now, of course, you're supposed to take care of your child without her asking any fucking way. But some of these women, when they don't have you on child support, they go beyond even two, three times what the court would ask for. All right, guys. So if I got a vindictive, if I had a vindictive baby mama, bitch, put me on child support. I don't even want to deal with your ass. No pop up costs. None of that fucking bullshit. I don't even want to deal with you. Your five hundred dollars a month. Leave me the fuck alone. All right, guys. The second point. I wouldn't want to have no contact with her. All right, because she's vindictive. She'll get over there and try to antagonize you, hoping that she get a physical reaction or a verbal reaction or something like that, some, so, so she can call the police or some shit like that. All right, so I wouldn't want to have no interaction with her ass. I would have a female family member go pick my child up. I would not want to have no. I don't even want to see her. That's what I, I would not even want. This now, remember, guys, this is for vindictive. If you got a cool baby mama, usually it means that she still has love for you. And she probably wants to get back with you. Or if she's cool with you and maybe, you know, she fell out of love with you because, you know, maybe, you know, the romance was gone. But maybe she still like you in bed. So you still can fuck. So maybe romantically it's not there. But, hey, maybe she like you put it down in the bedroom. You never fucking know, guys. All right. I'm just taking this from a vindictive point of view right now. That's why I would have a female family member go pick my child up. For the visitation. I wouldn't want to have no. Because she'll get over there and get to carry it on. And all this bullshit. And start bringing up old fucking shit. And you slept with my friend. And I heard what you did. And you fucking that tramp on the other side of town. And blah, blah, blah. And I hope you catch AIDS and your dick fall off. See, you don't, you don't even have to deal with that. You don't even have to talk to her. If there's something going on with your child. Tell her to call your mama. Or call your sister. Or call your female cousin. I have nothing to say to you. Period. Alright guys. So have a fucking female family member go pick up your child. All right, guys. So that's how I would handle it, guys, if I had a baby mama. If she was cool, fine. Let her chase your fucking validation. You can fuck her forever. You left an imprint on her. All right, guys. When you have a, a kid by a woman and shit like that, you left an imprint on her. And so if you broke up with her, she'll be chasing your validation to the end of fucking time. She can get married and everything. She'll still be fucking you on the side. All right, guys, because you, you left the imprint on her. Now, if she's vindictive, put me on child support. I wouldn't want to have no fucking contact with her. I wouldn't even want to go pick up my child, have my mama or my sister go pick my fucking child up and have no fucking contact with her, guys. All right, guys, that's how I would handle it, guys. All right.